Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine. <laughs> welcome to Elite Wine. <laughs> One more time. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. We're here for another episode of the show. I might have left the first couple episodes, um, episodes tries in there. I don't know why I froze up for a second. Um, I had stuff in my mind for some reason. Anyway, um, so uh, this is the last, last one I'm doing for the day. Starting to, this is going to be a fun one. Anyway, um, this is the last uh, the last one I'm doing for the day. Uh, then I'll take a week or so off and uh, play with my new toys. My green screen, green screen off, green screen on. Love it. All right. Um, so anyway, uh, so we're going to do this wine here. Now I haven't opened it yet because um, well, let's just kind of right into it. This is the non-vintage. Um, Choco Vine from Europa or the Europa Choco Vine. This is a grape wine with artificial flavor, cream, and artificial colors. Chocolate in wine. Uh, made in Holland. It's the first Dutch wine I've ever had. Oh, wait a minute. It's not really Dutch wine. It's wine made in Holland. It's a product made in Holland. Now I'm shaking it because it says to shake it. Matter of fact, it says right here. Consume within six months of opening, so I shouldn't have to worry about vacuum venting this and um, worrying about the wine going bad. Uh, shake well, store in a cool, dark place. Do not mix with acidic drinks. So don't put this in with orange juice or something, I guess. Though, here's a fun fact. The Tootsie Roll drink, it's cream to cocoa and orange juice. And then some recipes say to put a little cream in there, but just those two, the right proportions, tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Who knew? Orange and chocolate. All right, so I'm shaking it. Shake it really well. That's why it's not open. Let's pop it open because I figured I probably don't need to uh, um, do a little rinse. Get the rest of that wine out of there. Anyway, uh, let me go to one of the uh, places that sells this, empirewine.com. Uh, I don't know where they're from. I don't know if they're from. My my initial thought is they're from uh, New York, being the Empire State. Okay, it's pretty thick. Lots of chocolate in there. Let me read what they say is from the winery notes. Choco vine is a fine French Cabernet, subtly combined with a rich dark dark chocolate from Holland, paired together to create a decadent. Silky smooth drink, great served on the rocks or as a main ingredient to an array of sinful cocktails. So we're having it by itself. So supposedly, served on the rocks. So this is one of those things where, um, I don't know, a few weeks ago, everybody was talking about chocolate wine and all that, and it was kind of the rage. I guess it was the pre, pre-Valentine's Day build-up for it, and um, Everyone was drinking this. I think it was this one in particular. And I was like, hey, what about me? No one told me about it. I was off that day. So um, anyway, Vinny Crumbs decided, maybe Dad, uh, decided to buy this because uh, I heard me talk about it. He saw it. I believe it's around $8. So that, that's what I keep seeing out there on the, um, on the interwebs, on the tubes, so to speak. So um, probably around 8 bucks, you can get this bottle. And uh, like I said, it's a non-vintage wine. It's it's one of those specialty drink concoctions. You know they, you know they they make like say Bailey's and and chocolate or whatever. They 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 create a cocktail thing that you can just drink on its own and serve it on the rocks. All right. So outside, there's nothing much else I know about this because I'm probably not going to know exactly where this Cabernet is coming from in France. It could be from all over France for all I know. But it's a fine Cabernet, by the way. Fine. So fine they had to pair it with chocolate. All right. 
I know, <laughs> I'm having fun with this, so we'll see. All right, so it smells like any other alcoholic chocolate drink. Pretty darn good, by the way. I feel I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna like it. This is just kind of funny. But I don't really get like that it's wine. Like if, if you just didn't tell me what, if you just put this in a glass, I would think it was just some like vodka chocolate drink. You know what I mean? Or Bailey's. You know, I would think it was, I would think it was like Bailey's and chocolate type of thing because it's kind of creamy chocolatey so you get that you get the chocolate you get kind of that cream aspect and then alcohol matter of fact what is the alcohol content on this thing 14 percent so it's considered a so it's a wine not a not a li, li, well it could be kind of maybe a liqueur because liqueurs can be can be um that's 28 proof yeah 30 proof that's about right so yeah, you just have to realize that we don't we don't talk about wines as proof. We talk to them about them as percentage of alcohol. Same thing with beer. We talk about percent of alcohol, um, but proof is um, a, a a measuring of liquor, and you divide that number in half, and that's the percentage of alcohol. So, say twenty eight proof beverage. Oh, okay. Ew, it all curdled up in there. Dude, it's tasty. It's sweet. It's chocolate. How can you go wrong? I shouldn't even score this just because it'd just be stupid. Let's just say, if you like chocolate and you like alcohol, you're going to like this, all right? You just buy the stupid thing. It's not stupid. Just buy it. All right. I get chocolate, cream. I feel the alcohol, but like I said, this could be whiskey in here for all I care. I, I, it's not like it's... I can really taste the wine. I mean, honestly, I feel the alcohol. There's a burn to it. Wine doesn't burn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not, not in the same way. It feels like it's, you know, an adult chocolate milkshake. An adult Yoohoo. Oh, I love Yoohoo's. We got some in the house. It's about time that they started distributing to Texas. In a can, by the way, you get that metallic taste. Even better. I know, I know, the glass is, a, glass is a better product, but man, my first experience with Yoohoo's was in the can, the tin can probably. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is, it's good. Buy it. If you like this type of stuff, buy it. You're not, dr I mean, you're drinking a wine, but don't think it's like, I mean, it's obviously chocolate, but don't think that it was, you know, some wine that they infused with chocolate. It's more like they made some, they got some chocolate milk, well they got some chocolate, some cream, and they infused it with just enough wine to give it a, you know, they, they infuse it with wine, that's where the alcohol of 14% is from. That's pretty, and if you think about it, 14% Cabernet from France, that's, that's high up there. It's normally around 12, 12 and a half, maybe 13, when you're talking about French wines, and European wines in general, or at least French, maybe Northern Italian and, and German wines, usually aren't approaching 14 percent you got to get farther south because of the heat you know the hotter the hotter um growing regions you'll you'll you it's not unusual to have higher alcohol percentages with wine so with that said bye oh yes forgot we got to pair this now this was press ma'am's idea that'd be mom this is press ma'am's idea she made sure it got me some ice cream sandwich. I'm going to pair it up with that. Did I mention I like ice cream sandwiches? I don't think I ever mentioned that. It's going to be good. I 
you know, the ice cream, you know what it does? It helps helps cut down that the alcohol burn. It makes it really tasty. Yeah, it's still got the burn, but the ice cream, the coolness of it is what it is. It's not the milk and the fats in it necessarily because that would handle the tannin. It's the coolness, it's cooling the wine down. That's why you chill it so you don't get that <clears throat> alcohol flavor. That's why, that's why, you know, youngins love their alcohol cold so they don't get that burn. And why Americans drink their stuff too cold. Drink their beer at 30 degrees. Okay, 33. This is good. I'm going to finish this off. Alright. So, as I'm talking about a mouthful, stop by the website. I don't have any links for this thing. I mean, I could send you to empirewine.com, but a bunch of people sell it. I don't even know where it was bought from. I don't know if it was a grocery store, from somewhere else. There's no, it showed up. But it's, it's available in a lot of places. I've seen it in a lot of places, so it's not like it's hard to find this particular brand or anything else, or anything like it. This is kind of the rage right now. Friend me up, hit the donate button. We'll see everyone again next time.